from a place of ritualism, then you'll be aware of all these symbiosis. It's a nexus of change. So what do you want more of in your life? What, what kind of life do you want to live? By the simple nature of asking that question, I make sure that our goals are aligned. Uh, who here has ever written a song? How long does it usually take to write a song? Yeah, it's like it might take less than an hour to write something, but then like weeks to get it to work. Yeah. To be a good writer, one must be a better editor. There's some things you can't edit, but we should also be allow ourselves the freedom to get into that. Do you hear the difference? It sounded drier. It sounded more closed off. There's no echo. But it's still our voice. But we hear it so singularly different when we close our ears. You don't have to have a formula like that. There are no rules. When we sing music, when we sing songs, and we invite people into our space, it really resonates with everybody. So it's important to choose what we say. So I wanted to take that approach to our instruments. We could do such things as, take your instrument, by the way, if you have an instrument. I want you to take it and actually put it upside down. First of all, who here has ever collaborated on a song with anybody? Something. Project. Yeah. Mm. I mean, when you're in a band, when you get together and you jam, sure, it's a you know. collaboration. Well, Actively go out and meet with somebody and be like, you know what, I just want to get together and I want to play with you. Well, so, just like in any good painting, you know, it's not just making the sounds, it's also the absence of sound. The art of collaboration is simple. It's to meet, it's to create something. You just gotta put it out there. It wasn't there until it was made by you. That is a great point for collaboration. When it does happen, record it. Don't forget the recording device. Because <laughs> it's like lightning flashes. Yeah. It will flash and will go. So just from one meeting, yeah. you can get a song. Yeah. Something that really means something for both of you. The songwriting, it's it's absolutely imperative to recognize that there are things going on in our lives right now that I want it to be quick and short, and something that you are processing right now. First time like by myself creating music, and it was kind of like an intimate moment with myself. You went there, but you have to allow yourself the freedom to do that. So I'm not saying everything we have to figure out the universe, but if there are things that we are that are tying us up inside, then this creative, purgative way of approaching the music is is, uh, is great, and it can be whatever it is. But we have to give it permission. And and by the way, things that make us uncomfortable are the best because that means we're actually confronting the parts of ourselves that are like, oh fuck, me, God, what's wow, wow, you know. But it's good to to get that. Because that's the only way we shine light into our dark places. So as tool users, musicians, and sun writers that we are, it's important to not judge, but simply, as the word we've been hearing a lot is vessel. I would like everybody to be a vessel, a prism, where you can reflect and refract this light in a more positive way. Take your time, and encourage the others, and remember that sounds are equally as important as words. This was an encapsulated workshop. I hope you guys like this. Challenges. And, you know, the one thing that I remember Wayne Dyer always said is, you know, don't die with the music still in you. So if you have something to do, do it. And if it's the first time you've ever done any escape from this, it's all the best reason to do it. Because the next one's always going to be better. The last thing that I would recommend is when you come with it, to not come with a sense of ownership like it's mine. But it's, mm. it's ours. It's like a one of those mandalas that are created that you have to throw away when you're done only because the recipe was perfect for that moment. But we have to be able to let it go in order for us to really uh, be present in the collaboration process. Be the supporter of the other person's ideas. So if I'm talking to you, Joe, about a thing, we're both in on this thing, let me try to create around what you want to do. In turn, as a collaborator, you can also express that back. So it's like a pendulum of, of lifting the other person's ideas. Because just simply playing one note can activate that kind of bridge between two people. What the song says is just as important as that sounds. 
you know, sometimes it's one no. It's the right no. 